Now then, now then, now then, me ducks and me drakes, happy Halloween. Or should I say, happy Halloween. Maybe I shouldn't. He's left me in charge again. Anything could happen. And it's a bit of a scary night. I'm all on my own down here in the Zen Den. They're all, they've all swanned off to the rope walk, ropery hall. Beautiful venue, left me all on my own. It feels later than it is, it feels really dark. Oh well, at least I've got you guys, we're together. Actually, just having that thought has made me feel safer and happier. Oh, this is the, the Ditsi, the uh, Chinese... Chinese traditional Japanese flute, Lord Krishna's favorite instrument. And, uh, appears in the Hindu literature, spiritual teachings, and is many, 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 many centuries old and has this kind of strange membrane stretched across that hole there, which gives it a, like a special flavor. In fact, somewhere I've got a couple of little folk tunes, little Chinese folk tunes to play you. And I played these just once before, about a year ago or something, and I was so impressed because I didn't even know what they were called. And our librarian, Mr. Mike Cole, sussed out their titles. Translated them and everything. Maybe I said the titles in Chinese. This first one is Xiao Fang Nui. And one of them is about a little shepherd boy, but I don't know which one. That second one is called Lan Hua Hua. Sounds like an evil laugh. Hua Hua. And uh, I th might have done a terrible thing. The end goes da 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 da. And in Western folk music, we quite often just to tail, tail something off to give it a nice ending, we'd repeat that last little phrase. So I did that without thinking. I might have done something terrible and completely wrong in the idiom of Chinese folk music. I will live with the consequences. I'll have to, won't I? I've got no choice. Halloween is the, like a sh shortening, a contraction, isn't it, of All Hallows Evening. So tomorrow is the Feast of All Hallows Day, the time in the uh, liturgical year when which is kind of dedicated to remembering the dead, 
including saints, martyrs, and all departed people. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. But right now, we're going to celebrate the living with the soul twist. Yeah, King Curtis. Where's my sling? Buried it in the changing, changing of the shirt process. There it is. Right, the soul twist. It's a groovy thing. Indeed. The Soul Twist, a King Curtis original. It's a goodie. Oh, just looked at my list. That was the tenor. This is the baby one, the soprano. And a track lent to me by the wonderful 
Jeremy Bradford, keyboard player, singer, extraordinaire. Tune, song. Thank you, Mr. JB. Jeremy's not in Otley anymore. He's somewhere else. Can't remember. <sighs> Jeremy Bradford. No, 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 no. <clears throat> anyway, thanks, mate. So, old Snakey. Cracked one of his teeth right off. Most of tooth gone, gone. And uh, just to show, I think, that he had been paying attention, one of our haiku writers, Val Schultz, noted that last week, Snakey was telling you that Sally was making sourdough bread again. And sourdough bread is quite crusty. <laughs> and he put two and two together to make five and came up with this haiku. Snake has fang problem. Sourdough affects embouchure. Nasher broken off. A little bit harsh. I don't think it was the sourdough bread. And the sourdough bread is delicious. We've had our first loaf. It was very tasty. So I've been left with a list of requests. While the snake is away, the snakelet will play. This first one is for you, Sue. Miss Sue Dibbon. A request for the compost bin gang. And one, two, three. <laughs>
Loads of us there, a whole gang of fakies. Uh, great song, Albatross. Fleetwood Mac, of course, in case it's driving you crazy. That's for you, Sue. And for you, Kev, of course. Actually, Kev might be down the road for you as well. Is there anybody? Yes, I know you're there. There are people there. Kev might be tricking me or treating me. I know Mike's there. I know Mike's happy because he requested it. Oh, I haven't played this for a bit. How's it start? Da da da. Might seem. That's it.
Mr. Mike Cole. I hope that's made you even more happy. That's a bouncy tune. That's fun. I'm really hoping everybody's all right. Not too scared. I've been tricked too much. This next tune, Amy Winehouse. What a brilliant, brilliant artist. Sadly missed. I'll be thinking about her tomorrow on, what's it called again? All Hallows Day. And many people. And uh, this has been suggested once or twice. I've never done it. But I know it's one of Anne Bell's favorite. And I also know that unless anything's changed, the fellows who keep the database have remarked that it's not a single tune beginning with V so far. <coughs> so here's Valerie.
song, song, song. And I played on the original of that, you know. The Back to Black album. It was a memorable session. I haven't said that, I can't remember where it was. Oh, I think it was when in a big studio in Chiswick called Metropolis. I think that's where it was. I can remember being there. Letty got annoyed because I'm, I think I'm credited as Chris Davis, with the Davis spelt wrongly. I mean, that is pretty annoying. Even I was annoyed, or mildly irritated. Try not to get annoyed. So does, so does Snake. And the requests keep rolling on. This one's for Helen, Helen Hutchinson. Oh, I haven't done this for a long time. And I found a, the proper track for it from the original master session of, what album was it on? I think it was on, uh, Missing you, I think. Anyway, I could not find all the all the master tapes. And Sally found them, and she was looking for something else. Isn't that always the way? Human nature. <laughs>
Human nature for Helen. Skylark for anybody that wants it. <clears throat> I did have one last request. Another one for Mike. <sighs> the tunes are coming thick and fast tonight. one was uh, erasure a little respect not to be confused with Arita's respect which I play more often I love it I was looking for my pictures of the strings I can't find them never mind we'll imagine them good looking bunch there
There you go, Mike. That's hard. I'm supposed to make them sound easy and look easy. Don't think I did. That's hard. It's hard for the strings as well. I remember when Snake Strings was rocking up and down the country. That was so physically demanding for those guys that the only place we could really kindly, reasonably put it was, was the last tune in the first set. <laughs> so they got to stretch their arms out and rest afterwards for 20 minutes before the second half. Well, guys, it's been a real pleasure in a spooky, frightening, dark kind of a way. And uh, But you've helped me not be so scared here in the Zen Den. And uh, they'll all be in soon. And I hope, hope you're not on your own. And if you are, I hope you're being brave. Braver than me. What's coming up? No gigs for a little while now. Nothing to plug. I mean, there are things coming up. Just booked one in in uh, our local church. And the ropery were back there with Burden of Paradise at the end of it's November tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. End of November, last Sunday. Ropery Hall with Burden of Paradise. Wooden Church, a couple of days before. Just me on me own. One for the road then. It's another request. It's a favourite one. Of Joe. Solent Joe. So we do it for do it for Joe and Murray. This evening. To see us out. But I'll see you before we go. I will always love you. I will.
Joe. Guys, thank you so much for being with me, putting up with me. The boss is back next week. Snake's back. Same time, same place, bit lighter. Not such a sombre shirt. Next Sunday, 7 p.m. Please come and join him, us. Big massive thank you to Joe. Big massive thank you to Sally. All the fakies, Jeremy Bradford. Snake Strings, all the musicians. And especially you guys for keeping meeting up on a Sunday night. It's a special thing. And it's kind of doubly wonderful now that I've been back out and so many shows in October and I've met so many of you in the flesh, in person. And uh, I know some of you are getting busy and you have to watch on catch up. But as long as you want to do it, I'll, I'll be here for you. That's my, well, he will be. We will be. That's our promise. So have a great week, guys. Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and go steady, as we say. I'll see you very soon. <laughs>